Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your Netgear router, DGN2200. And before I start, I want to remind you that if my video will help you, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below. The first step is to turn on the router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end of the power adapter into a wall outlet. Connect the other end to the router. Turn on the power by pressing the button. When it's powered on, a light will illuminate. It might take a few minutes for the router to fully power up. Next, plug the cable from your broadband provider or modem into the internet port. This port is commonly called to as WAN and is typically a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you should reset the router to its factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the lights on the router to begin flashing. Occasionally, this button can be found inside the router casing to avoid accidental presses. Use a slim object to press it down. The router will reboot, resetting all the settings to their original factory defaults. Connect one end of the Ethernet cable that came with the router to an Ethernet port. Connect the other end to your computer or laptop's Ethernet port. Please wait a few minutes for the connection to establish. Awesome! Your router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. Before we get started, I'll show you another way to connect the router in case you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port. Simply plug in the router to the power adapter and connect the cable from your internet provider. This will turn on the Wi-Fi. If the router is new and hasn't been set up yet, the Wi-Fi network will be named after the router itself. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a label. Get connected to it. Great job connecting to the router. Now let's get started with the setup. First, Open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. Then click here. Read Netgear terms and conditions and click I agree button. Now you must select NO. I want to configure the internet connection myself and click Next button. And then click OK. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. So the first thing you need to do is set up a new password. The admin password is used to log in to your router's web interface. Pay attention to the password requirements. Write your new password in the first field and duplicate it in the second field. Then select two security questions and write answers for them. You need them just in case you need to reset the admin password in the future. Click Next. On the next page, you will find the information you need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. If you want, you can print them out. Click Next button. If the router has not been updated for a long time, the next page may automatically start the firmware update process. 
I recommend updating the firmware if a newer version is available. It will take about three minutes for firmware update. Please do not turn off the power or press the reset button. If the new firmware is not available, just click OK. Then you will be redirected to the Netgear's website where you can register your router. If you want to, you can do it. I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to close this window. Log in to the router's web interface again if you were logged out of it. Enter the standard username admin and password that you created a few minutes ago. Press sign in button. In the top right corner, you can change the language of the router's website interface. To get the internet, go to Advanced. Set up Wizard. Press No, I want to configure the router myself. Then press Next button. On the next page, select the internet settings. In most cases, there are two options, connection with and without a login. Almost always, your internet connection will not require a login. All the information you need is in your internet provider's contract. If your internet connection does not require login or you do not know whether it does, select no. Leave account name and domain name unchanged. Then in Internet IP Address section, choose Get Dynamically from ISP. In the DNS section, select Get Automatically from ISP as well. If your Internet service provider only allows access to a specific MAC address, you must copy the MAC address of the main computer. If you are unsure of these settings, choose Use Default MAC Address. Check again that your settings are the same as mine. And click Apply. In most cases, it is not necessary to clone the MAC address. But if you can't get the internet connection after quick setup, later in the video I will show you how to clone MAC address. Now you need to reboot the router. Go to Advanced. Advanced Home. Click on the Reboot button. And click OK. After the reboot, wait a few minutes and try to Google something. If it doesn't work, check all the cables. They must be connected correctly. Then log into the router control panel again. Go to Basic, Internet, and choose Use Computer MAC Address. Click Apply button, and then Reboot Router again. After a few minutes, check your internet connection. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below.